That badge should be mine. There's no way Sheriff gave it to you. There's just no way. Well, that's what the bounty hunter said. And why would they lie? They don't owe me dirt. Why'd Sheriff pick you then, huh? What the hell did he see in you? I don't know. Didn't have a chance to find out. Vault Hunter figured it was time to show Juno the big and ugly that Rose was looking to hatch. Hey, Bounty Hunter. Titus was just leaving. Yeah, I think I'd better be off. For your sake, Juno. You be careful around the hatch at Tomodachi. She's got so much blood on her hands, she can't see the lines anymore. Well, how'd it go up there? If you didn't find the stone, I'm guessing it's bad news. So, turns out that the stone is really an egg. Inside, this big beastie called the Ruiner. The Ruiner? Wait, something's wrong. Devil! Incoming! Mercy, protect us! <laughs> What's next then, Sheriff? Oh, don't you call me that. Now walk with me. Something I gotta tell you. It's about what Titus said. Look. I used to be a devil rider. They called me the hatchet. I killed plenty in my time, and I'll take that to my grave. That's why the town don't trust me. We used to just raid the town for supplies. But when Rose took over, things changed. She wanted a massacre. I couldn't take that kind of blood on my hands, so night before, I slipped out to warn these towny bastards. Even helped them fight off the Devil Riders myself. 
After that, Sheriff let me stay. Said you ain't gonna find forgiveness here, but you can damn well fight for it. Titus thinks I'm fighting to save the town. More like I'm trying to save myself. Anyway, we're gonna fight this fight together. I just thought you should know. Sheriff had some guns here. I'd say you earned them. The Ruiner. Rose used to talk about it from time to time. We all thought she was touched. Guess we were wrong. Now, I don't know how Rose plans to hatch that egg, but there's someone who might. Old crone by the name of Oletta lives in the forest. Go see what she knows. The old woman ain't a devil rider, but that don't mean she cares about us neither. Here's open roads. Oh, it was a hell of a thing, the hatchet turning on the devil riders like she did. Whew. When Rose found out, she put quite the price on Juno's head. Even offered some extra coin if some mean bastard could manage to do the deed with her own hatchet. The name's Josie. I'm a coffin maker when one needs making. These days, though, clientele are a bit thin on the ground. Or under the ground, as it were. It's the sheriff's old dueling van. But fluster not. Now that he's gone to his suite everlasting, I got in mind a foolproof plan. Head to the gambling hall. Sure as the dead lie still. Where there's dice, dueling ain't far behind. The gambling hall. Where crooked folks played crooked games. Vault Hunter knew that for better or worse, they'd find trouble there that needed sort. <laughs> you to ruin drunk William. Someday you'll pay for this. That's how they met Slim, with his backside in the sand and beat half hollow. Vault Hunter decided to lend a hand, seeing as they were already in the neighborhood. I busted my dang coccyx. Mighty obliged. Those fellas are as loose as a noose and twice as twisted. They took my money and tossed me on my behind. I'd avenge myself, but my shooting hand's about as steady as a snake with two rattles. You've already got a gun? That's great! I'll teach ya. You got bullets too, right? My brothers pulled that one on me when they first taught me dueling. Heck, I'll do it if it means I can settle my score with Drunk William. And I know just the place to practice. Follow me! Slim's daddy, Lightning Luke, was something of a local legend. When Slim was born, he was a spitting image. Now he's all grown, except for the spine. Most everybody was tickled they could kick Luke's boy around. But if anyone's got dueling in the blood, it's Slim. Sometimes I sneak back here to enjoy my drinks in solitude and safety. There are some bottles lying about. Maybe you can show me some of that sharp shooting of yours. Just get those bottles the old what for. Go on. Damn fine shot, friend. How'd you manage that? I'll be honest with ya, I'm not really sure myself. I just go with what feels right, you know. Whoa, what a thrill! I'm feeling fresher than a two mint julep. How'd I do? Listen, I'm gonna come right out and say it, and I'm gonna be brutally, savagely honest because I care about you. And it's the only way you'll learn. Your shooting could use some work. But you did your best and you had fun, and that's what matters. Wow, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. But what if Drunk William shoots me? Wish I had some armor. Slim wasn't about to cross irons with Drunk William with nothing but stitches and sand to keep him standing. Bald Hunter knew they'd have to find some protection for him if they wanted him to grow the stones for a duel. Safety first. Might not stop a bullet, but it might make a man think twice before shooting. 
Perfect. I'm gonna go get ready for the duel before I forget all the training. Boy, if my papa could see me now, my first duel, my fingers are all in fits, I tell you. Ain't no turning back now. I'll wait here while you go tell that no good, low down, lousy, lack wit drunk William that I'm calling him out to duel. Drunk William liked to think he was the toughest mother's son this side of the sand. The type of fella who'd chew the fleas off a skag and ask for seconds. But someone needed to put him in his place. Which is to say, an unmarked hole in the dirt. Whether Slim had the grit, though, well, that remained to be seen. Oi! William! You drunken git! My boy Slim is waiting outside to duel you. If I were you, I'd change into me brown britches. What? Slim wants to duel me? Ha! <laughs> All right, I could use a laugh. You tell him I'll be right out. Drunk William was ready for a fight. Nothing for the vault hunter to do but tell Slim to get ready. Ready as he could get, anyhow. He's coming. Whatever happens, I want you to know I'm proud of you. You're basically my son at this point. And I can't watch you die. You hear me? Don't you worry about me. I've never felt better in all my years. I was born for this. I'm headed for glory. Wait, my head. My head's better than old Pete's domicile. Quick, give me something for my skull cap. Fancy looking tech right there. Didn't seem like the vault hunter could use it yet, though. Golly, my brains are locked up tighter than Granny's pearls. Now I've really got a leg up on drunk William. Wait, my legs, quick! Enough blathering, Slam. Let's get the blasting. Bounty hunter, you ring that bell over there so I know when I can finally kill this sloppy SOB. We drive the sound of the bell. Fine by me. May as well have us. <laughs> Well, don't that beat all. Slim survived, but only just. And they only found his feet with the Vault Hunter's help. One for you, one for me. Ooh, that kicks like a three hail hot damn! But I'm alive! I feel like there's lightning in my veins and thunder in my throat. Next time someone's fool enough to take me on, I'm gonna write my name in their blood. Ain't nobody gonna call me the son of Lightning Luke no more. Y'all can call me Slam Thunder. My boy! My badass boy! I am so glad you survived. I mean, I never doubted you. Except for most of the time I've known you. Ooh, there's a new killer in town. Y'all better believe it. Huh. He survived? Well, come on back, Bounty Hunter, so you can get your coin and I can get to work building boxes. Well, I don't know if Doolin's gonna catch on like it used to, but the more folks killing each other, the better my business booms. Besides, if this town's gonna survive, we need the roughest roughnecks to know their way around the irons. It's just survival of the fittest, that's all. Till next time, Bounty Hunter.
forest. Dangerous place, eh? Full of strange flora and stranger fauna, including wayward core infused experiments from, you guessed it, the company days. <laughs> It's hard to believe, but the Devil Riders actually got the railway working again. What they believe, though? Well, they'll find out soon. Come on, little boy! Chapter in this saga. Laser burns. Those blast points too accurate for devil riders. Only the laser dactyl is so precise. We'll have to track it down and kill it before it strikes again. Someone was coming. So, why are you here? Juno sent me. Juno? I haven't talked to her since she went and moved into that human cage they call a town. Can't imagine what business she'd have with me. What's this about? What's the deal with this ruiner I've been hearing about? Rose is trying to hatch it. Of course she is. The fool. This way. Come on now. I'll tell you what I know. But I need your help with something. The Ruiner. <laughs> Company always loved its dramatic names. Interitus Regina was designed as the apex of bioengineered weapons. Company scrapped the project when they realized it couldn't be controlled. There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. I used to work for the company, you know. The Dominus Project. That was mine. We experimented with various forms of mind control. The company cut bait and ran before I completed my work. But I think I'm on the verge of quite a breakthrough. Good, good. Now, bring it here. Just give me a moment to work. You see, I believe I found a way to temporarily charm hostile creatures, and even humans. <laughs> the Mentus Dominion, or Mentonets to keep it simple, are unique species of parasitic bugs which, when exposed to infused core, can seize the minds of their victims. In theory, anyway. Now for the final step. Ooh, this is exciting. There. Infused core. Quite a bit more potent than its raw form. This way. Come on now. 
Now, add a small piece of the infused core to each of the Menta Nats breeding containers. There are only a few left that still need it. I've already taken care of the others. If my experiment is successful, you'll be able to temporarily turn enemies into allies. Meaning you just might survive this place. And sure, Rose may have passed through here safely, but she has her own methods. Kind of beautiful, aren't they? work for us. Go on. I'll give you the honor. Release the Menta Nats, and we'll see if the experiment was a success. Before we can call the experiment a success, we must try this on a live specimen. This way. I'll be in here taking notes. train full of core. Enough she may succeed in hatching the ruiner. That cannot happen. You must stop her. This is as far as I go. Farewell, gunslinger. She wants to bake them like a savage. Don't you give a chitlin of wit to this no good cheap shot and chiseler. I ain't eating no damn refried beans, so she done stole them and trying to pin the deed on me. Oh, beans are just lovely. I get it, girls. But before there's any bloodshed, let me have a bit of a look around. Fine. Mighty fine. Exceptionally fine. Fine times infinity. Shame to see friends at each other's throats like that. But I suppose some things are worth fighting for. Maybe even dying for. 
Looky what we got here there. A lead! And it sure don't look like a person tore into him. Some bean-hungry beasts were clearly on the prowl. The vault hunter followed the trail of lost legumes. <laughs> Reba and Betty were famous, you know, and not just for their constant feuding, either. Back in town, they were known as the Bean Queen. Folks said you ain't never really tasted beans until you tried them that come from the Queen. Ah, shame to see so many beans wasted like this. I don't blame the girls for being so upset about it. Trail of cans better lead somewhere good. Like a pot of gold. Or beans. No! Gold and beans. Nine cars of beans. I wonder if there's recycling on Gehenna. <clears throat> the vault hunter ventured into the beast's lair, hoping to recover some of those precious beans. Turns out them bean queens weren't the only bean fans in the forest. There were bean-hungry devils who were unlikely to release their surprise. And there were a whole mess of them. Get the new guy! Idiots! each other's throats all over again. The vault hunter was right about that. You better damn well come back with them beans or you're done for, you hear me? And you better damn well hope that I'm chock full of refried by supper time or I'm a riddle you dead. Even if they do come back with them beans, I'm gonna bake them savory little guys, you hear me? <laughs> over my bloody carcass, you will. Oi, enough of all that now! I've got this one last can of beany goodness right here. And I'll make the call on it. Get me? Better you than her, I reckon. Choose wisely. Fine by me, as long as you make the right call. It was a tough call for the Vault Hunter, but an important decision. Probably the most important bean-centric decision they'd ever make. Oh, I'm gonna refry those little suckers till they don't know what's what. No! I'll bake them till they're good and baked! Yeah! Just doing what's best for you, I think. What the good hot damn do you think you're doing, stranger? Yeah! You wasted perfectly good beans! Now, if that ain't already a crime, it ought to be. What do you say, Betty? Friends again? If that means we get to drop this lick spittle together, I'm in. Let's teach him a lesson! Okay, okay! We shouldn't have messed with you, we get it. We yield. Yeah, we yield. Don't end us. Betty, 
I feel like we ain't never been closer than during that old fuss just now. Maybe it's better that there ain't no more beans for us to feud on. I was thinking the same damn thing, Reba. It's better this way. Thank you for helping us get back on track, stranger. Our kinship ain't never been more fierce, thanks to you. Now come on, Betty. Let's rest up. Then, after all these years, we're finally gonna do it. You mean it? That's right. We'll head back to town and finally open up that restaurant we always talked about. Come in, Reba. I'm so in. Beans, huh? What can't they do? The bad stone. Everyone on this backwater rock knew about Oletta. Some said she was the one who told Rose about the ruiner. And again, some folks are liars. I should know. <sighs> Symmetrified wounds. Looks to me like the Hydragoyans work. Do us all the kindness and leave the beast of its hide, would you? Thirsty for a turning. She must have seen us coming. Damn. Rose must have seen that coming and locked down the controls. So the vault hunter took to some righteous destruction, as was their wont. Quit squabbling with that bounty hunter and get the train moving. We got an enough core. You are the butcher! Get this train out of here! Go, 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 go! Vault Hunter didn't know where that train was headed, but knew if it got there, it was going to be trouble. Question was, how to stop the train? Need some bombs. Lots of bombs. They did indeed need bombs. Yoletta, do you know where Titus's girl Bella's at? Of course I do. She's at Ginfor Grotto. I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. <laughs> well, don't keep me waiting. Oh, there you are. Ready to find Bella? 
It was a real sorry sight the day Titus came to release Bella. Waterworks like you wouldn't believe. That boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. But I saw how he doted on her, and well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Imagine that. wild thing for a time now. Who's to say she even wants to return, but that's up to her. If she gets a whiff of Titus's scent, maybe it'll jog her memory. And I've got just the thing. A pair of Titus's trousers. Don't ask. Wasn't planning on it? Don't want to know. There are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. You need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. Magnificent specimens. Butcher them for some grade A devil steak. Careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste, and the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick, because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella was a run when Titus set her loose. I didn't think she'd last a day, but now she's made of herself a matriarch. Girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No promises. No, not me! thinking that electrified meat might be the way to go. <laughs> the Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. They laid out the bait, looking to lure out little Bella. But Bella weren't so itty-bitty no more. Vault Hunter watched, hoping this would work. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now, Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus's scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also, days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to that patriarch turning her back on them like that. The beast seemed like she was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those Bellocks. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it.
look at you, girl. What a spec. But there's someone back in town who misses you. Remember Titus, don't you? Another pair of Titus's pants. What is going on with you? Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? Ready to go, girl? Huh. So the old girl actually understands you, or what? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? Oh, come yeah. on, I'll show you. One of my movie reels is nearby. I can feel it in my bones. Cinematic sense, you might call it. The company may have ruined this planet, but at least I got a movie out of the deal. Vault Hunter decided to go spelunking through the core mines looking for explosives. The company wasn't all scientists in suits. A lot of folk worked these mines back in the day. Work paid well for what it was. Still, plenty who went down into Gehenna's heart never came back up into the sun.
Vault Hunter set to plant those explosives on the tracks. Luckily, the train didn't come along until they were done. Trust me on that. That's just how stories work. If you wouldn't mind, please keep on the lookout for a Sato journal near there. Captured the Devil Rider today. Made him tell us about the code. It's kill or be killed, mostly. Killing the weak's fine. Killing the strong, though? Now that's how you move up. The ink, that's only for the big kills. Which gave me an idea. What if we covered ourselves in tattoos and bluff our way into the gang? Just might last long enough to meet their leader. And take them down. Another cache. Another part of the Devil Rider code. Load up, Bounty Hunter. Bombs were set. Luckily, that wasn't the conductor. Nope, wasn't that one neither. There he was, the conductor. But your rose is gonna make you pay for that. <laughs> See you in ruin, bounty hunter. called in a friend to do her dirty work for her. <laughs> Not if the rest of you get to see this all the time. Looking so hot, brother. Where is this train going? Be quick about it. <laughs> Facility doesn't matter now. <laughs> what was the last shipment? <laughs> you're too, you're too late. You know, lass. Rose has been transporting core to some facility.
That was where the company started this whole mess. Seemed a good enough place to end it. You're just in time! Got me some Devil Riders here! We'll talk after we put them in the ground! I gotta give you. When the Devil Riders broke into the facility years back, we stole all manner of company tech, including these Echo upgrades. Here. That'll let you access the Telezapper network. Gotta get you in the system. <laughs> <laughs> must be using core to power a company launcher of some sort. If anything's got the firepower to crack that egg, it's company tech. Find that launcher and shut her down. I told you that telezapper should get you where you need to get. Don't be scared, just go. Thank <laughs> you. 
supersonic creature of ruin that no weapon can destroy. Leastways, no weapon of mine. Why don't you go give it a go, and maybe you'll have better luck. in charge. That mangy bastard better open the gates for me. Watch out for Rose. She got her eye on you. <laughs> You ever driven a man mad? You ever wanted to? <sighs> Care to help me get some vengeance? Now listen up, gunslinger. You ever hear the legend of the Meat Man? Meat Man? Doesn't ring a bell. He's a ghost story from around here. It's said he's a monster who wanders the vast. A cursed hunk of rotten flesh with eyes of glowing core and a fiery demeanor. Now, I ain't superstitious, but I know a murdering bastard who is. And I say we scare him straight to the end of his wits with the legend of the meat man. First, grab that frame. Now, hold on a sec. I gotta get this teleporting what's it back up and running. Suppose you'll want to know who precisely will be wreaking this righteous vengeance upon. Now, it's a sure thing there ain't no good devil riders, but this Reaper Jones character, well, he snaps a chop. Wicked is too good a word for him. Oh, <laughs> and I scattered a bunch of echo recordings about the meat man around this area to get under his skin. Check him out if you got a mind to. Reaper Jones lives over yonder. Head on through. If he ain't loitering outside, it means he's sleeping one off. 
Always drinks a flood after a massacre. Sick bastard. Go See, we're gonna make Jones think the meat man's come for him. Just need to put a few things together to make it happen. But first, you gotta find us some clothes for our meat man. Everyone heard tell of the meat man on Gehenna. Was a time I so scared of meat I ate nothing but quinoa for a year. Fear will drive you to the brink. You heard the legend of the meat man? Well, it starts with a company researcher named Rami. Time comes, his buddies figure to play a prank on him. Stole his ID card and left him out in the vast to fend for himself overnight. What they found the next morning shook him to the core. <laughs> buddies? Well, they're spooked. A few of them clean up and disappear. And yeah, you guessed it. Each one of them bastards was found hat and head in the vest. Nothing beneath them but dirt. And so, legend of the meat man was born. A restless spirit out for vengeance on wicked folk walking alone in the vest. Just fine. Well, now, that should just about do the trick. Next, we're gonna need the head of a Belek. But not just any Belek, mind you. It's gotta be the biggest, meanest son of a bitch in these parts. See if you can find one like that. for each of us in time. All of Rami's buddies were done for. Meat Man got them all in time, in his way. But the Meat Man don't stop his killing after Joe Sankara. No, sir. They say he rides every night, hunting down murderers and other unspeakable sinners of all stripes. Then, after he wreaks his righteous punishment, the Meat Man rides off into nothingness at first light wearing the hat of his latest victim. Yeah, I mean, it ain't bad. But it ain't quite the stuff of nightmares just yet. We're gonna need some fuel so we can give it the proper presentation. Ah! Ah! 
If I don't light something on fire every few hours, well, I get sad. I get to it then. That should wake the hungover bastard. What in ruin is going on out there? Boogity boogity, oh bad bad boy. I'm gonna eat your brain and steal your liver. It's always handy to have an extra one lying around. What? No, this can't be right. Someone's trying to play tricks on me. Hey, get out there and kill that bastard, you layabouts. Looks like the meat man's about to claim a few more victims, huh? to die. This can't be happening. I'm sorry, meat man. I've seen the error of my ways. I'm gonna be good now, I swear. Just please don't kill me. Well, that seems like genuine fear. But, but I'm not so sure the bastard suffered his share. If you think he ain't out of his mind enough, turn up the gas on that meat man. Really drive the point home. But then again, if you're thinking he really has seen the error of his ways, maybe give his sins a listen. Oh, sweet ruin, please, meat man! Please! I can change! The meat man's not the forgiving type. More the set you on fire type. No, stop! I swear I learned my lesson! I ain't gonna kill no more! Please don't take my body! I don't want to be just a head! <laughs> it's working! Do it again! Hot and head, and then you're dead! I can't take it! I can't take it! <laughs> <laughs> Reckon that coward lost his mind before he passed out. I wonder what he'll be like when he wakes. In the meantime, come find me. I got something for your trouble. Well, well. Looks like there's still some steam in that old legend of the meat man after all. Hope those devil riders hear about this, because the meat man's coming for them too. Oh yeah, soon enough, soon enough. At any rate, that was a good old time. Hope you enjoyed it your own self. Reaper Jones ain't gonna forget what happened today anytime soon. <laughs> now I just gotta thank you for all you done.
devils, the beasts, it all came from here. The facility was a vast, clever, fancy I think you know by now that there's always another way in. You try. <laughs> Not quite. Concentrate, Rose. This is important. You have to get it right. Your grandmother taught this song to me when I was a little girl. You know what she used to say to me? Welcome to the facility. Our elite team has been recruited from throughout the system to participate in Project Endless Horizons. All of our exciting progress is thanks to Malleus Mutatio, or Core. None of our projects would be possible without Core, the element that sparks new life into our bio-enhanced flora and fauna. Core, which fuels our experimental weaponry and tech programs. From our groundbreaking Telezephyr network to innovations in long-range ballistics, this Project in this harassment of the of the James Corporation. Just a heads up, Bounty Hunter. There's another Sato journal around there. They put us in a pit. So only one of us was getting out. Rico came at me like a starving. It's almost funny, you know. The company claimed the ruiner couldn't be tamed. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. My grandmother was smarter than any of those empty suits. She knew exactly how to control him. And so do I. 
When the company shut down the facility in abandoned Gehenna, they bombed what they could and left. But my grandmother couldn't leave her work behind. When the last shuttle hit orbit, she was right there flipping The bird is shouting, cowards! Inside, and I just came to get a few of my things. You used to work here for the company? I did. And we had to leave in such a hurry. Now you can put your gun down. No one's gonna miss a few company goods here or there, are they? I suppose not. But you best make it quick. Riders are coming back soon, and when they do, I can't make no promises. Help me, I beg you. You're that bounty hunter, right? Oh, thank heavens. It's my wife, Carolina. She's been kidnapped by a band of devil riders. They're after her mechanical engineering skills. I've tracked them this far, but I'm afraid I can go no further. I'm, well, a bit of a dandy, and they would kill me instantly. But you, you look like a tough nugget. Yes, please find my poor gentle wife. You may be forced to get your hands dirty. Blood. Devil rider blood. Oh, I'll do it with you. Be wary. This gang is led by the notorious boss Keem. A bold, and terrible painted I have never seen. Now that I've seen him, he would have killed me. Damn shame to lose your wife to a pack of animals like the devil riders. Oh, 
Where's your boss, Keen? Tell me, and maybe I won't shoot you. The boss? The boss is, uh, yeah! Boss is in uh, lab 422! Uh, are you, are you gonna let me go now? Vault Hunter had a feeling the coward was holding out. Pressed him a little harder. Not letting you go just yet. What are y'all doing in this lab anyway? We was working on making the devils even deadlier! Crafting guns under their domes and whatnot! I swear that's all I know! Ah, I'm out of here! Lab 422, the coward said. Carolina would be there. Vault Hunter got a move on. sent out her elite squad of scientists for some damn reason. to rescue our last name, Carolina. What did you do with her? Quick now, before my finger slips. Whoa, hey, calm it down. There's clearly been a misunderstanding here. I am Carolina. What? Would you, would she? What the heck is going on here? Look, my life back in Vestige was duller than a 10-year-old spoon, okay? I was going stir crazy, and I guess, I just thought I could make a more exciting life for myself out here with the Devil Riders. Your man Gustav is pulling his hair out worrying about you, you know that? Poor bastard thinks you got yourself kidnapped. Gustav? Oh, my dandy of a husband. He sent you to rescue me, huh? Interesting. Maybe he does care about more than mustache wax and silk ascots. <laughs> but I got a good gig here. Did you see those devils with the guns? Oh, shit. I can't decide. Listen, I know I just met you, but can you help me decide the fate of my life? Not gonna lie, I am pretty into your augmented devil's thing, but your boy Gustav really misses you. I think you should go back to him. <sighs> You're right. I guess he doesn't deserve to be abandoned like that. Besides, gang life isn't all it's cracked up to be. I mean, I can't tell you how badly I want a bath. Oh, with a megaton bath bomb? Yeah, come on, this way. Look, I... Could you just go 
and tell Gustav that I'm alive? Give me a second to mourn the augmented devil-filled life that might have been. You're here! Is she with you? I don't see her. Carolina! Carolina! She's okay, boyo. Oh, Carolina? Wanna come on down? Oh, Gustav! I can't believe you came for me! Sort of! I mean, where did you find the bravery to hire a gun-toting stranger slash maniac to come save me? Your love gives me all the bravery I need, Carolina. I'd hire another gun-toting stranger slash maniac again in a heartbeat. Anything for you, my love. And, Bounty Hunter, thank you for your aid. I am forever in your debt. We'll head back to town as soon as it's safe to do so. Do you accept payment in the form of lightly scented silk handkerchiefs? No? Well, I suppose this will have to do then. Oh, Carolina, I was so scared. I'm sorry I worried you, dear. You have nothing to apologize for, Carolina. Yes. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Look, I'll explain everything when we get back to town, okay? Let's just go home. Of course, as soon as it's safe. Whatever it is, though, I'm sure we can make it through this, together. Oh, why would I ever think of leaving such a wonderful man? I'm sorry. What was that about leaving me? Oh, uh, nothing, dear. I was totally, definitely kidnapped. Now that we're reunited, I say we make sure to live life to the fullest. Really spice things up. Gustav, really? Yes! A million times yes! Let's add a machine shop to the house with a munitions depot! Oh, I was thinking more like a new duvet cover. But, uh, of course! Whatever you desire. Perhaps we can repurpose my cumberbund chamber. Anything for you. And if that boss Keem ever comes for you again, I'll hire another gun-toting stranger slash maniac in a heartbeat. Oh, you... so sweet. It looked like a dead end, but it worked. There's always a way forward if you're clever enough to find it. Hey, whatever your name is, we 
Time to stop the launch.
Juno! You seeing this? Oh, you mean the big damn explosion that lit up the sky? Yeah, I saw. Get back here when you can. We'll round up a posse together and ride for ruin. We can still stop Rose. Heart. One of my movie reels is nearby. I can feel it in my bones. Cinematic sense, you might call it. You see, the company were the real villains all along. Somebody had to get the word out. But to do that, we had to get off this rock. We needed a ship. Of course, there was only one ride on Gehenna equipped for the trip. There they is, my favorite newcomer. You're telling me Rose is gonna wake up a gigantic company monster? We're screwed, Juno! We're screwed! Titus, I don't think the whole damn town heard you. Well, what the hell are we gonna do? We got a hard enough time as it is just fighting the devils and the gang. Me and you are the only ones keeping this town together. Now, I need you, Titus. Don't go belly up on me. Oh, I ain't going be- Now. Oh. You. Me? Clean your ears. I ain't gonna say it again. You're alive. Any other good news? Nope. Rose got away. I figured. But we know where she's going now. Incoming! The sky's raining fire! Ah, ruin. Find shelter, everybody! Ladder's coming. Over the farm! 
You ain't done yet. <laughs> you. You saved my damn life. Yeah, well, don't go thinking you can give up the badge that easy. Fair enough. It's not over yet, bounty hunter. Devil Riders rain off licking their wounds. I say we take the fight to them. You thinking we go for a ride, Sheriff? Yeah, that's on my mind. Well, you ready to collect on that bounty? Darn tootin', I am ready for a hootenanny! Yeehaw! Cowboy stall. Meet you outside town, then. Not bad fighting, Titus. You weren't so bad yourself, Sheriff. Sheriff, saddle up! Ooh. It's a posse, is it? Well, all right then. You make sense. You still Get yourself a ride, bounty hunter. For it, I was born with guns in my hands. Your poor mother. Shut up! I was being, you know, figurative like. It's like the Devil Rider bastards locked up the place. Well, I got the key right here. You feel like doing the honors, bounty hunter? Here we go! Me and Titus can take care of the Devil Riders. You just worry about Rose, bounty hunter. I'll stay back here and watch your seat. Take on Rose. <sighs> now, you might be wondering why they call me the liar. Well, some say it's on account of what I swear transpired next. But to be honest, I hardly believe it myself. But the Vault Hunter descended toward Crater's Edge, their iron hot in hand, with enough grit to sand a tree trunk smooth. They were ready to fight, and good thing, too. Rose had slipped through their fingers too many times, but there was nowhere left for her to run. It was a dead end. 
Ruins coming. And I'll be the one holding the reins. Come on, gunslinger. Draw. the town. Simply so. They're long gone nowadays, but their <sighs> legend remains. Of course, there was still the matter of the bounty, and it was time to head back to town. I told you everything changed when the ball turned.
and some. Here, take this. Head on over to the bank. Whatever's inside is yours for the taking. We owe you everything. Well, it was one hell of a pleasure riding and fighting with you, Tomodachi. Sure hope you stick around a while. Funny thing, townsfolk never did find Rose's body. But I suppose that's a story for another day. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. <laughs>